Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. Now before we start, this video is no way me showing it off. I just wanted to share with you my ever growing collection so I don't want you to think I'm showing off at all. These are all gifts that I received from my friends and family and I fully appreciate how lucky and fortunate I am. So I'm not bragging at all, I just wanted to share with you um, some of the bits that I got. I won't be going into too much detail for each piece so it'll be quite quick because there is a number of items to get through. But let's get started. The first item is the double-sided ticket from the Universal Studios. So on one side it has London to Hogwarts and on the other side it has Hogwarts to London. It's number 257, a really beautiful piece. I've not taken it out of the packaging yet. The gold foiling makes it feel extra Christmassy as well. Next up was a surprise item and these are called a K-blings and basically you put them on your iPhone or your phone charging cable. You can see there are some different ones to collect and they are a surprise in each one. Now I was fortunate I received Hermione in my package. I've already added Hermione to my charging cable so she is adorable and looking very very cute. Next up I got a few of the Harry Potter signature collection books. I haven't yet got the completed collection because they're quite difficult to come by at the minute but they are beautiful, they're something that I've never had before in my collection. So here is the Philosopher's Stone with some great illustrations on the front and then the series does kind of continue with this illustrated theme. In this collection I then also got the Prisoner of Azkaban book. This one came with like a library plastic cover on which was actually really handy because it keeps it fresh which is good. I got the Half-Blood Prince. Love the binding on this one because red's my favourite colour and it's like a maroon red so that's really good. And then finally I got the Deathly Hallows to complete. So a few to get but awesome books. Sticking with books, I also then got the paperback edition of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the illustrated version. These are a lot smaller than the hardback edition, so they'd be perfect for children, or if you are just starting out looking at Harry Potter books, these would make a really, really good size on any bookshelf, so they're really handy to have. You can also guess what illustration this is off and leave it in the comments below. One of my favourite features is the gold binding. It's stunning, again, adds a little bit of Christmas magic to the book, but great addition to the bookshelf. Now we move on to some older merchandise. I got Fluffy. As you can see, his mouth does open. He's quite ferocious from this angle. Um, but this is an unopened one. I got him quite simply as you see him. I do have a sealed one um, in my main collection. So this will be great just to be able to handle and have around. He does stand freely, as you can see. So he still works. He's in great condition. And just another piece to have out on the shelf or to be able to show people. The next is an older piece and it is sealed and it is this Hermione Granger wand. Now I really don't have any information on this. I believe from obviously the packaging it is a 2001 product but I'm not sure really any of the information about this. I believe it may be a fancy dress for children so I think it'll be um, an accessory for children to use. If you do have any information please leave it in the comments below. Now move on to I think one of my favourite items is this 2001 unopened bubble bath and shower foam. You can see it's Harry in his Quidditch pose on top of like a cauldron ball. The actual bubble bath shower gel is like a black green in colour with some glitter also. Lots of information on the back but it's really really stunning. Of course I won't be opening it and it will be remaining sealed as it is from 2001. Next, sticking with the 2001 theme, I got the Gringotts Vault Car, which has the Goblin, Harry and Hagrid riding in the Vault Car under Gringotts. It really is a fantastic piece. It is actually unopened as well, so I'm not going to take it out of the box. When you look at the back, unfortunately the shop it came from did put a price tag on it, so try and avoid those items where possible, but I really do like this. Um, and obviously I love the brickwork packaging that it comes in that original box, but a really lovely piece to add in once again. Moving on to some of the newer merchandise from the Harry Potter Wisdom World, I got this mini light. I did actually take it out of the box to put some batteries in and you can see the different ones you need to collect. But I got the platform 9 and 3 quarters which will make a great addition to my bedside table. The next item comes from the 2020 Boots Harry Potter collection and it is the Perfume Deluminator. I've wanted this piece since it came out so I'm so glad to finally have my hands on it. Two smaller items I got is this Harry Potter pen. It has Harry playing Quidditch as the topper and it's blue in colour. I also then got this eco-friendly 
tote bag with the same design it has the really cute characters on so this will go straight into my car so I've always got it handy another eco-friendly item I got was the platform line and three quarters lunchbox it is made from sustainable materials which is great I will now be using this every day for work so I can take my own packed lunches it's held with this really strong elastic band with the Harry Potter logo on and I do love it it's one of my favorite pieces the next item is from the Boots Christmas collection once again and it is this stunning Hogwarts gift tin. It does come with a few bath items including two bath bombs. I love the gold writing of Hogwarts on the top so I will be reusing this tin obviously once I've used all the bath and shower product. The gold detailing is superb and it goes really really well with this dark navy blue so I'm not sure what I'll use the tin for but I definitely will be keeping it. Next is an item from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in Watford and you can see it comes in this beautiful wrapping paper. It is the Gringotts Gold Bath. Um, I've wanted this for a long long time so it's actually a desk paperweight. I will be putting it on my desk at work but I love it and just the packaging itself um, has a great newspaper print. I really do love it so I will be keeping that as well. It wouldn't be Christmas 2020 if I didn't get some Gryffindor face mask. There are two that comes in this packet. They are yellow and red. Now these are the adult size. I don't know if they do children's size. Perfect for 2020. Also, it wouldn't be Christmas if you didn't get any socks, so I got four new pairs of Harry Potter socks. Um, my favourite pair is probably this black one, which has these beautiful purple stitches, just something different. Santa left the price on, you can see by accident, um, but yeah, four new pairs of socks. Everyone needs socks at Christmas time. Another pair of socks I so kindly received are the Vans Collab Gryffindor socks. I tried to get these but they were sold out. I tried for months so I was really really surprised. These socks themselves are really really thick so great for winter time. They've got the Harry Potter and Vans logo on the sole. Another great pair so I will be using these with my Vans and other shoes as well. Now we come on to the final gift which I did actually pre-order so it has been wrapped waiting for me and of course it is the Mina Lena Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone book. I've waited months to get hold of this it has stayed in the box wrapped up ready to go but it's beautiful I'm not going to go into too much detail as I said at the very start because I'll probably do a review on this itself but it is simply stunning if you are going to purchase um, a Harry Potter gift for anyone who is a Potterhead then this is the one to go for it's beautiful so that is the end of the Christmas 2020 haul. I really am appreciative of everything I've got. I know how fortunate I am. And I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, a safe, happy and healthy New Year. Thanks for watching.